Hello to our fans online. I'm Diana Perez. I'm John Muller with the top stories on this Monday, March 4th. The Cardinals of the Roman Catholic Church convening this morning for what's called a general congregation. Now, in today's meeting, they will not be discussing any possible candidates to become the next pope. They will be discussing the state of the church, including the Vatican's scandals. While the Cardinals are meeting, workers are preparing the Sistine Chapel for the papal conclave. A stove is being installed for smoke signals that will communicate the Cardinals' voting results. A tiny infant is beginning his life as an orphan. His parents were killed in a hit-and-run accident here in New York. The expectant mother and father were on their way to the hospital when a BMW slammed into their cab. Both of them died on impact. Doctors, though, did manage to deliver their baby boy by C-section. He's four pounds and in serious condition. Police are still looking for the driver of that BMW who ran from the scene. To the latest on those budget cuts, President Obama might be singing a new tune of compromise. He's reaching out to both Democrats and Republicans in hopes of a compromise to end those automatic spending cuts. Those cuts are starting in effect over the weekend. The president's focus is now entitlement programs, including Medicare and Social Security. Now, right now, neither party can agree on taxes. And finally, although Yao Ming, the former NBA star, is now retired, his name lives on at a zoo. The newest addition to the Houston Zoo, a baby giraffe, very fittingly, now shares the name as a seven foot six inch star Yao. Baby Yao Ming was born last week and is already six feet tall. He can potentially grow to be 18 feet tall, which would make him more than double the height of his namesake. Put him on a basketball court. Nope. See how he does. He's already as tall as me. He's man, right? Is it right when he came out? Pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> pretty big guy. Mm. All right, well, you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Diana Perez. I'm John Muller. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.